Hi guys, welcome to A Level Biology. Today we will be looking at the uh, T lymphocytes, T cells, and cell mediated immunity. Right, so in terms of the learning objectives, you need to be able to state the definition of an antigen, describe the two main types of lymph uh, lymphocytes, explain the role of T cells in cell mediated immunity. So in terms of our specification, okay, we are here today. So definition of antigen, the effect, uh, and then the responses of T lymphocytes. Okay, so uh, recall the different mechanisms. So we were looking at the specific and non-specific mechanisms in our previous video. And today we are aiming to start uh, our lesson with the specific mechanisms. So we're looking at the T cells. So main differences between cell mediated immunity that involves T cells and humoral immunity that involves B cells. So in cell mediated immunity, we are not going to see any antibodies. Okay, so antibodies are not produced, but they are produced in the humoral immunity. And in terms of the first, uh, of, in terms of the immune responses, the cell mediated immunity is the first stage of immune response. So we need T cells that will then activate B cells. So then humoral immunity is the second stage of immune response after cell uh, mediated immunity. So where is the term cell mediated immunity coming from? It's the fact, uh, from the fact that uh, T cells are affected through cells. And then humoral immunity is affected through body fluids. So the main difference between the B cells and T cells, uh, it's actually where, uh, where are they produced and where they actually uh, develop. So they are produced, both of them are produced by stem cells, okay? But uh, B cells will develop in the bone marrow and T cells in the thymus gland, okay? And why, why, uh, whether it actually works, so B cells, it's a humoral immunity, and T cells, cell mediated immunity. So it's quite important to know what cells are involved in what type of immunity because the examiner might ask you to describe the, um, the, uh, the function of B cells or might act, uh, ask you to describe the humoral immunity. So you must be aware of those two uh, facts, okay? So we were looking about the antigen before. What was the uh, what was the antigen? So antigen, it's a foreign protein that uh, that is found on the surface of the pathogen, and it stimulates an immune response. How exactly? Well, antigen will stimulate the production of the antibody. Okay. So as we mentioned, it's a non-self, so foreign part. Uh, of pathogen and uh, this is how those uh, foreign proteins can then be involved in the uh, production of the antibody. So as you can see the antibody and antigen will be complementary. Okay, so this is your pathogen. Antigen is found on the surface of this pathogen and it triggers the production of the complementary antibody. So antigen and antibody will make a complex. Right, so a quick question here. Some cancer cells have a receptor protein in the cell surface membrane that binds to a hormone called growth factor. This stimulates the cancer cells to divide and scientists have produced a monoclonal antibody that stops the stimulation. So mono means one. Okay, so the same types of this antibody. Use your knowledge of monoclonal antibodies to suggest how this antibody stops the growth of a tumor. So monoclonal, okay, mono means the same. Antibody, so a, a protein produced by B cell. So what do we know about structure, okay, of the antibodies? Where antibodies are proteins, so they must have specific pre d tertiary structure, which will be then complementary, okay, to the antigen. So in our answer here, this is what we will say. 
Well, of course, we're not going to say to the antigen because we cannot see it in the question. But rather than using antigen, we will use the growth factor in our answer. So the answer will be the antibody has specific 3D tertiary structure, which is complementary to uh, to a receptor fact, uh, to the receptor protein of the growth factor, and will prevent a growth factor binding to the receptor. Okay. So remember, questions are quite uh, quite easy. Well, if there are general questions, then we're using general terminology. If they're asking about something specific, like here, growth factor, we need to make sure that this growth factor is included in our answer. But what is actually the antigen presenting cell? Okay, so it's a cell that can display this foreign antigen on the surface. Okay, so any cells apart from T cells can be antigen presenting cells. So T cells, it's not something that we're going to use. Well, B cells are antigen presenting cell, cells, microphage, but what does the T cell? T cell only will respond to the antigens that will be presented on the body cell. Okay? So this is how the T cells are involved in a cell mediated immunity. So let's have a quick look of what could possibly happen here. So we've got our number one. Okay, I've got our number two, number three, okay, and then a uh, division into four different things. Right, so as hopefully you can predict your, sorry, number one is a pathogen. Okay, so one more time, what was the pathogen? Pathogen is, the, my, uh, is an organism that causes disease. On the surface of this pathogen, we will find antigen. Okay, so... Antigen presenting cell, for example, phagocyte or B cell or macrophage, will uh, will engulf with this pathogen and present its antigen on the surface. Okay, so the antigen it's presenting, and our phagocyte it's the antigen presenting cell. So as we say, the T cells they they only respond to these antigens presented already on the antigen presenting cells. So a T helper cell, one of the types of the uh, T cells, will have the receptor that fits into this specific antigen. Okay? So so they fit together once when, once this is uh, already uh, bind the T cell uh, will be activated you and will start dividing by mitosis. Okay, so we can actually then have many functions of those T cells. What they can do? So they can, for example, stimulate B cells to divide. They can stimulate phagocytosis by phagocytes. They can also become a memory cells. So the job of memory cells is to circulate in the blood and be ready for the uh, response to the same pathogen, to the same antigen in the future. So the process takes place quicker, but you also can activate uh, T-cytotoxic uh, cells. So they will work by making holes in the cell surface membrane. Right? So if you would be asked to describe the process and summarize the process, what did we just say? I would say that the pathogen uh, invade body cells or uh, they are taken by phagocytes. So phagocytes was your uh, antigen presenting cell, but could be macrophage, could be B cell. So this antigen presenting cell will place antigens, so those foreign proteins, from the pathogen on its, uh, on its uh, cell surface membrane. So receptors on the T uh, helper cells are specific. So they will fit only into this specific antigen and this will activate T cells to divide by mitosis and clone. And the clone T cells can then develop into those different types. So they can develop into memory cells to make sure that the next response would be even quicker. They can stimulate phagocytes to engulf pathogens by 
phagocytosis, they can stimulate